We're living in the middle of an unprecedented pandemic. Even now, some choose to doubt or even ignore science. South Florida's chief meteorologist John Morales shows us this not only affects the current COVID-19 crisis, but also climate change. John. Trina, it seems like every disaster movie starts with a scientist being ignored. No, no, I want to hear every viewpoint. I really do. Yeah, yeah. don't you see the danger, uh, John, inherent uh, in what you're doing here? In many parts of the world, and especially in the U.S., a penchant for anti-intellectualism in recent decades has consumed us like wildfire. Science fiction writer Isaac Asimov famously said that Americans suffer from a false notion that democracy means that my ignorance is just as good as your knowledge. This is their new hoax. When it comes to coronavirus, devaluing expertise and scientific knowledge has likely put us in a tight spot. We have it totally under control. We are seeing lots of elected leaders that are still ignoring the science um, around flattening the curve even today when they're seeing what's happening in the big cities. We know that there was lots of people on talk radio, for example, and the anti-science community who were actively spewing this anti-science activities even in the face of the outbreak. They're scaring the living hell out of people and I, I see it again as like, oh, let's bludgeon Trump with this new hoax. So if skepticism or downright denial of science is causing problems with our current virus emergency, imagine the damage it has inflicted over the course of many years to what historically has been perceived as a more distant menace, the climate change crisis. Some of the same organizations and some of the same people who reject scientific authority on climate change also reject medical authority on the pandemic. Many aspects of human nature make it more difficult to comprehend the building climate threat, like not seeing it as a clear and present danger and simply being fixed in our ways. We don't experience risk properly, we don't like to change, and we don't respect people telling us something that we don't want to hear. But what if winning the battle against COVID-19 brings a renewed appreciation for science? I'm hoping to be optimistic that we will be able to have less deaths than we're projecting. If that is an object evidence that the science works, that we knew what we were talking about, um, nothing will. You know, this, this whole flatten the curve thing that's working, well, that's science. Now, if going forward, science can be the guiding principle for government policy, for corporate ethics, uh, for individual actions as well, so we can act decisively in the common interest, there can be renewed hope that future generations, our children, our grandchildren, will be better off than us. Jackie?